weather. New Orleans, 63 degrees. That's the way winter should be. And it's talking to me. <laughs> Read emails. Uh, actually, you've only get the voice commands oh. that you see in the menu. Everything else okay. is kind of tap control. It says read aloud. Yeah, if you tap that, it'll read whatever you're looking at in your ear through the bone oh. conduction mic. Hey, that's cool, though. I didn't know how graphically it would look. Oh, yeah. I thought it would uh, be in front of me, but you actually have to look at it. Yeah. I still wouldn't drive with it. Oh, no, no. Close, the closest I'll do is I'll get on my bike and only when I'm in the park, not on the streets. Yeah, yeah. So, so what do you think of your first glimpse of next year's tech? Uh, that's pretty cool. It's much cooler than I thought it would be. Uh, it's got to get, it's got to be able to do uh, voice recognition a little bit better because my accent probably killed it. It's, it's been improving. It's better than Siri, and the version that we just got is actually better than the last one. So, yeah. by well, the time it hits the market, it should be decent. Even though I'm an Apple guy, I find that. Um, Google on my iPhone mm -hmm. picks up my voice better than Siri does. I do as well. The uh, the Google Glass is the only non-Apple piece of gear in my field rig that I'm using. So yeah. this is the iPad and it's changed to an cool. iPhone. If uh, I've been up to Google once or twice uh -huh. uh, in Santa Monica. Nice. But uh, since I don't work for them, I don't get a chance to uh, test it out. I'd love to though. Outstanding, outstanding. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking a couple of minutes with us today. Hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at the tech. It was great. It was <laughs> great. Thank you.